Okay, so here I'm coming to the end of my round, which is round number 10. So once again, I'm going to slip stitch. I hope that the light is bright enough for you guys there. So there, I slip stitch, and now we're going to go up to round 13. Round 13, of course, tells us once again to chain 3, and then we're going to put our double crochet in that first space as when we joined. And then now we're going to do one double crochet in each of the next 17 spaces between the stitches. Then we do our repeat, which is two double crochets in the next uh, space between the stitches, and then one double crochet in the next 17 all the way around. We're going to join with a slip stitch in that first space, and you should have 114 double crochets. The next round, round 14, then we will increase to a double crochet be, uh, in the next 18 spaces. So right here then, I'm just going to go ahead and chain my three. One, two, three. I'm going to double crochet into that same space. And I'm going to double do one double crochet in each of the next 17 spaces. So here, I just will go ahead and go into the next 17. There's one two, three, so let me go ahead and go through all 17 spaces. Okay, so then I've done one double crochet in each of the next 17 spaces here. The first one had my chain three, which kind of says one double crochet, and then the second one, so I have two there. So now I'm gonna repeat the pattern. So here in my next space, I'm gonna do, on the 18th space, I'm gonna do two double crochets. And then once again, one double crochet in each of the next 17 spaces, and then I'm going to repeat that. So then in the 18th space, I have two double crochets, and then followed by the 17. Um, one double crochet in each of the next 17. So go ahead and repeat that, and then we'll go on to our next row. Okay, so here I finished round 13, so I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch once again into that space to close it off. Now I'm going to go to round 14. It's the same as round 13, except that now we're going to increase the double crochets in the next uh, 18 spaces between our stitches. So here, once again, your three chains to go up. Remember that counts as your first double crochet. So one, two, three. And then we're going to double crochet into that same space. And now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next 18 spaces between the stitches. So now I'm moving... Oops, trying to grab this yarn here. I'm moving from 17, from uh, one double crochet in the next 17 to 18. So here I'm just going to go ahead and work 18, one double crochet in the next 18 spaces. When I get to that 19 space, I will do my two double crochets in that space. And then once again, I will repeat with one double crochet in the following 18. So let me go ahead and finish here the 18th double crochet. Okay, so here. I've done my first chain three and then my double crochet into that same space. And now I've done one double crochet in each of the next 18 spaces between our stitches. So now here you're just going to repeat the pattern once again on the 19th stitch here, or between the two stitches there. I'm going to do two double crochets. So here's one and two. And now I repeat once again one double crochet in each of the next 18 spaces here between the stitches. When I get to the 19th, I do my two double crochet and repeat that all the way around. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and work on our next round. Okay, everyone, so now for rounds 15 to 28, we're going to repeat round 6, which is just one single crochet, excuse me, one double crochet in every space. For this, from 15 to 28, I am going to be turning my work back and forth. Because if you just do it, because um, you know, we, right here we've been working all in one uh, one direction so that I could have all the right side. And it looks okay. But on this portion, if we try to just keep working on the same direction, we're going to end up with a big, kind of a big gap in the beginning. So here then, to close off this area, I'm just going to go ahead and just slip stitch right there. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two... Three. Now I do turn the work because if I just skip this area here, I'm going to have a big spot, like a big hole there, and I don't want that. So for rows 15 to 28, and actually really the rest of this work, I'm going to be turning my work. So now here, I would do my next double crochet. Here's where I closed it, so it would be here in this next state space right here. And that's how you're going to work the whole round 
which is one double crochet in every space right there. I hope you can see with the light there. And you're just going to work that when you get to the end here, or basically the last uh, here double crochet, then you're going to slip stitch here to close, stitch three, three, three chains, turn the work over again, and then that way you won't have a big gap there because if you don't turn it like I have been working the rest without turning it um, this right here it does make a difference here so you do need to keep turning your work after each round to make sure that we don't get a big hole there okay so I'm going to go ahead and work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around and then when I get because I'm repeating round six and then when I get to the end of round six here then I just slip stitch in between the beginning chain and the next double crochet just like we just like I showed you to close it here chain three turn my work over then I turn it to the other direction and start doing my round so go ahead and do that and we'll come back after I've done all my row my rounds which will be round 28 they will come back and work on round 29 okay I've just finished my row 28 here so um when I did um, start doing rows 15 to 28, I did start um, turning my work either side because I wanted to make sure it just was kind of stronger and I didn't have that little space there. Here now, um, let me move this out of the way. Uh, we're going to be going to row 29 and it says chain three, turn. Um, these I'm going to be turning like from 15 on. I did turn the work because I'm going to be reducing so I want to make that straight. So here I'm going to chain three. I'm going to turn the work. I'm going to double crochet in the next seven spaces between the stitches and then we do our first decrease. Okay, so then so let me go ahead and do that. So here then I'm on row 29. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And here I am going to turn the work just because I'm going to be getting ready for when I do the handles. The handles we definitely want to be turning the work because that's it's not going to work if we don't do that. So here then I'm going to double crochet in the next seven stitches let me move this here so you guys could see so here's the first stitch here one two and it's going to be the next seven stitches three four five let me get this got stuck here five six and seven okay so now we're going to do a decrease over the next two and it's over these next two spaces here so what we're going to be doing then it's going to be a double crochet decrease so here let me see if i'm trying to get it so you could see it better so here i'm going to yarn over i'm going into my next space bring it out i'm going to go through the first two don't close it off yarn over again go into the next space and then I'm going to go through all those three little loops and then my last two loops and I've created I worked two stitches into one so I have my first decrease now the next part is going to be our repeat so we're going to double crochet in the next eight spaces we're going to do a double crochet two together which is the decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around so that's going to reduce our stitches to 108 versus um, when we started you should have 120 double crochets in your round so here I'm going to go ahead and repeat that I'm going to do one double crochet in the next eight spaces so I'll do this one more time for you here's one two three oops four five six Let's get some more yarn here seven and eight okay so now here this here now we're going to do our decrease so over the next two i'm going to yarn over Go in here in my little space there. Oops, I almost caught the. I'm gonna go through the pull through the first two loops. There'll be two left. I'm gonna yarn over again. Go into the next space. Pull up. There's gonna be three loops there, so I'm gonna go through the first two, and then 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yikes. Maybe I'll edit that part out. Let me do it again. So here, I'm going to yarn over. Go in here. You'll have three loops left. Pull through the first two. I'm going to yarn over again. Pull out. And now I'm going to go through the all three. I'm sorry, guys. One, two, three. And then I'll have two left. And then the two there. So that's going to be the decrease. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet in the next eight spaces and then the ninth space, ninth and tenth space, you do your decrease. So I'm going to work that all the way around, then we'll come back and work on row number 30. Okay, so here I finished row 29. I'm just going to slip stitch through my space there. And now row 30 just tells us to repeat row 6, which was just one double crochet in every space. So I'm going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to turn my work over. And this is just one double crochet in every space here. Okay, so here's one. I'm just going to do one all the way around. And then we'll come back and work a row, what's this makes it, round 31. So here, this one, round 30 is just one double crochet in every space. Every space between your stitches there, just like this. Okay, so here I'm finishing my round. So now I'm going to go to round number, uh, let me see here, round 31. It tells us to chain three. We're going to turn. Then we're going to double crochet in the next three spaces. And then over the next two, we're going to do our decrease. And we're going to repeat double crochet in the next four spaces with our decrease all the way around. So that when we finish, we're going to go down to 90 uh, double crochets. So here then, to go up to that round, I'm just going to just chain three. One, two, three. Turn my work over, and now I'm going to double crochet in the next uh, three spaces here. So here's the first one, so here's one, double crochet, two, and then three. Let me grab this yarn here, three. Okay, so then over the next two spaces is where we're going to do with the decrease. So I'm going to yarn over, go into my space, pull up, there's three loops, pull through the first two, leave those on there, yarn over again, now I'm going to pull through the first three loops, the two left, and then do that again. So that is my decrease. Now I'm going to repeat by doing four double crochets in the next spaces between the stitches, and then the next two would be our decrease. So here's one, double crochet, two, Three. Get more yarn here, and then four. And now, over the next two, I will do my decrease. Let me get some more yarn here. So then here, I'm move this other way. I'm going to yarn over three loops. I'll go through the first two, leave those two on there, yarn over again, go over the next one. Pull through all the first three loops and then the last two loops there. And I'm going to repeat that. One double crochet, the next four, and then the next two after that are my decrease. So go ahead and do that all the way around. And then we'll come back and work the row after that. So here's my four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and then now I do my decrease. And I'm just repeating this all the way around the entire round. And then we're going to close with that slip stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and we'll come back for the next round. Okay, I finished my round. And now if I can move the camera back a little bit, you can see that it's starting to get that shape in like the rounded bag here. That's the tissue paper from the flowers I made. So here then, the last round, 32, it just tells us to repeat round 6, which was just one uh, double crochet in every stitch between and so here I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch here close this off chain three one two three turn my work over and I wanted to show you something because I had done it's really easy to make this mistakes um, so here I'm just going to go ahead and do one in every st stitch between and the reason I wanted to bring this up is because somebody had sent me a message and then a question on Facebook so um, saying they were not getting the right amount of stitches in every round 
and so when she sent me a picture then we saw what the problem was so here let me go till I find a decrease so here you're gonna be doing when you're doing one uh, your stitches between your your stitches here so here I'm doing one this round is just one in every round in every space so here when I come here the mistake was that see how this is a decrease let me see if I could focus that better so you could see it so here this is a decrease so what she was doing is that she was making her she was looking at this as if that was the space there but we're looking at that we decrease these two okay so this is one stitch this is another stitch and so this the next stitch would be here not between the decrease okay so here would be your next stitch because if you're doing one in between the stitches then you're just like you that's you're making it wide again or bigger again so here and it's really easy to do to make that mistake since you're working in between the stitches and not right in top of the stitch so it could get a little confusing so like let me show you here is our next decrease so usually we would be going into the top of the stitch which is here right but since we're working in between the stitches then it's here not in between the stitch these two have been reduced to one stitch so this whole thing is one stitch because normally if you would go into the top of the stitch you would be going there but we're working in between so then it's going to be here so not in between the decrease and that if you do that then you're just like kind of like making this two stitches again so it's like the decrease never worked so then your next stitch here would be the next one see that so this is one here then the next one is there these two that have been turned into a decrease count as one stitch because uh, we're really counting it from the stitch up here where the point is there that would be the one stitch if you were going into the stitch it would be there but since we're working in between so make sure you're not going in between the decrease you're going from here into the next stitch this counts as one stitch here so we're looking at this stitch here just like that so just here too see that there was a decrease these two became one stitch so now if we were going to work into the stitch it would be up here but now we're doing it between us so you're going to go here this counts as one and then here so go ahead and do one stitch in every one double crochet in every uh, space between your stitches remember that these decreases count as one stitch so here then here then each one here and here's another decrease so we would be counting this then here okay so go ahead and do that and I'll come back and we'll start working on the handles okay here so I've come to the end of round 20 I mean round 32 so I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch there now we're going to start working on the handles okay so here round 33 tells me to chain three no turning of the work double crochet two together and then I'm going to double crochet one double crochet in each of the next 29 spaces and then I'm going to do a decrease again at the end okay double crochet two together and then one double crochet in the next space and then I'm going to leave the rest unworked so I'm going to have 33 stitches in that round so here what I'm going to do then I'm going to go ahead and you could read along as I'm working I'm going to go ahead and chain three one two and three now I'm going to double crochet um, uh, two together it doesn't tell me to do it in the same space so I'm going to start here so hopefully that is correct so here I'm going to yarn over I'm not going in the same space because it didn't tell me to do it in the same space so here I'm doing in the next space I want to do here go in there I have three loops go through the first two don't pull it all the way out yarn over again go into my next space here I have three loops go through the first three and then my next two so that's my first decrease now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next 29 spaces so here it's all it should be easier there's no decreases on this round so here just go one and I'm going to go all the way until do I do 29 so I'll, be, I'll come back right when I finish doing the 29. Okay, I've done my 29 double crochet. So now I need to do a decrease over the last, the next two stitches. So here, I'm going to go ahead and yarn over, go there, 
pull up four by first two. Loops, there's two left. Yarn over again. Pull through the th next three and then the next two. And now I'm going to do one double crochet. It tells me in the last, this is going to be the last one of our row. So here around, I guess I should say, here. And then double crochet. Now you leave the rest of the stitches and work. So you work from here to here. The rest of these are left unworked, okay? So now, okay, so I finished row 33. Now for rows, let me see if I could get this here so you could see. For rows 34 through 45, it tells us to chain three, turn, and then we're going to go do our two double crochets together. Double crochet in every stitch across to the last three spaces. We do another decrease, a double crochet to get two together, and then a double crochet in the next space. At the end of row 45, we're supposed to have nine stitches. So then I chain three, one, two, three. When I did it before, in the same way that I worked this row, I only ended up with uh, 40, say 40 or 41 rows when I got to the nine stitches. So I was missing a few rows. So here, I'm gonna turn my work, and this is how I got it to work. So then now, Instead of going to this one to begin, I just started my decrease here. Oops. So here, I started the decrease and then into the next stitch. Can you see that? I don't know. So the space started there. And then I did one double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And then when I had three spaces left, I did my decrease and then my last double crochet in the last space. And this is how I was able to get to nine stitches at the end of row 45. Sorry guys here. So this is how I did it beginning there. I think I pulled something up there. Uh, I think the yarn is stuck on something. I have it on the ground in a little bowl so that it could just pull up easier. So I'm just going all the way across. Hope I'm not boring you. So let me get to the end and I'll show you the last uh, three spaces. Okay, so here, let me move this back so you could see what I'm doing. So here, then I have three spaces left. One, two, three. I'm gonna do my decrease over the first two. I mean the last, this one, go in there, pull, and the next one, Pull there and then my last double crochet and I guess the way what I'm saying is the only way to do it is because when since we're working in in between the stitches instead of in the actual stitch I was a little confused when I first read the instructions but if we're working the, the spaces it tells you to chain three and then do a decrease over the first two spaces so then technically this would be the first two spaces versus being here and here because usually this would be the same stitch as the stitch worked and then your first space would be here your first stitch would be here and then here but we're working between the stitches so I believe that's why you need to do it this way but when I finished row 45 I ended up having nine stitches including our um, chain three stitches okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish all my 45 rows I am going to put a stitch marker right there so then the way it's easier for me to count the rows instead of starting from the bottom, I know that this is row 34, and then I'll go up to row 45. Okay, so I finished row 45, and I do have 9 stitches left uh, on the row here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And remember, our chain 3 counts as 1, so we have 9 stitches across there. And so now to go on to the last part before we uh, fasten this section off and work on the second handle. For rows 46 to 56, which is 10, 10 rows, we're going to chain 3 and then you're just going to do one double crochet in every stitch across. And then at the end of row um, 56, I'm going to fasten that off. Then uh, the second part to do my second um, handle, then I will skip 10 stitches from the last uh, stitch that was worked on round 20, uh, excuse me, 32. And I'm going to join with the slip stitch, chain three, and then work my other handle just like I did this one. So here then for rows 46 to 56, all I'm going to do here is then I'm going to chain three, one, 
two, and three, turn my work over, and then do one single crochet in each stitch, uh, in each space. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here, then, right there is my little space right there. I'm going to go ahead and do one. And I'm sorry, the bag is starting to fall. It's getting kind of big. So let me move it out of the way. Hold it on my lap here so it doesn't fall off. So there's one. And remember, not in between that, but in the next stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and then eight. But remember the chain three counts as one. So then I will have nine. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm just gonna repeat what I just did here going up, turning until I have fifty-six uh rows. So it's just uh basically ten rows of one uh double crochet in every space. So go ahead and finish that and then I'll come back and we'll fasten off. I'll show you how we joined and start the second handle. Okay, so I fastened off here, right? And so this is the first handle. We need to work the second handle in the same way. See how the bag is like this way? So here I'm going to go and it tells me to, on the last stitch, let me get the instructions here. It tells me here then to skip the 10 spaces from the last stitch worked on round 32 then I'm going to join with a slip stitch in the next stitch in the next space and then I'm going to chain three and work the handle the same way so I'll just begin chain three double crochet two together work all the instructions the same way and then at the end we'll from the right side we're going to single crochet around edges um, excuse me we're going to single crochet our edges of our handles together and then we'll do the finishing so here if you go down your handle, do, 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 here is round 32, okay? So that is that space right there, okay, where I went up. So now I'm going to skip 10 stitches. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, okay? And now once I skip those stitches, and it's asking me, let me put my crochet hook there so I don't last, lose my face. It's asking me to join my yarn with a slip stitch in the next space. So here is my yarn. I'm going to get it ready and leave a little tail. Just make my slip loop right there just to have it nice and ready. So this is my 10 stitches. So here in my next stitch, I'm going to join with a slip stitch right there, just like that. So that's why I had that little loop did, done, okay? So basically, here was this 10th stitch. I go in the next one. I'm gonna grab my yarn, just so it could have that little loop. And then I could kind of hide that tail and I'm gonna sew it in as I go along. Now I'm gonna chain three, one, two, three. And I'm gonna follow the instructions that I did for my previous handle. So here, I just want you to go back and we're gonna just repeat uh, rows 33 through 56. The very same way I did it, so then I'm going to start with my two double crochets together. So here would be, you know, begin our first decrease. And then I'm going to go across 29 stitches and then do a decrease in the end. So now I'm just going to double crochet the next 29 spaces, double crochet together, then a double crochet in the end. So I want you to rewind the tape. I'll try to put the time stamp here where you would rewind and then you could do rows 33 through 56 again. Okay, I just finished doing my second handle. So here's the first one and the second one. And so now here, let me move my yarn out of the way here. It tells me, my instructions tell me to, um, I have to go, uh, do not fasten off from the wrong side single crochet ends of the handles together so here i ended on the right side let me see if i can move further away so here are my two handles i'm gonna move this here okay so i let me pull out the wrong side so 
I turned it inside out would probably be the easiest way to show you guys so here my bag has been turned inside out so now the wrong sides are on the outside and the right sides are facing and now okay so I turned the bag inside out the wrong sides are on the outside the right sides are in the inside and now it's telling us to single crochet these together so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put these together and here's my stitch so I'm just gonna come here we're gonna get this here and I'm gonna single crochet across I'm gonna try to hide this tail as I go along so here's my next stitch and we're just going to keep going all the way across and this is going to have a lot of um, of the stress of the bag so if you want to go back and do it a second time you can just to make it stronger there but uh oh I caught a piece of that thing stuck there let me let this go I lost that piece of that yarn let me put this down so single crochet all the way across sorry about the dogs guys I live real close to a high school and they always practice a band group so the drumming and all that it kind of riles up the dogs I don't know why uh oh I keep getting this stuck here that little tail there go there it would probably help if I had my glasses on I keep grabbing that stitch and then our last stitch to the last stitch so then this is going to be just like that okay I can cut the tail off of that one I had there and now you would just fasten off make a knot there and then just tie in your weave in your um, your tails since this is going to be this is not called for in the pattern okay so don't call and say you're not supposed to do that so I'm going to do I'm going to go back one more time over those spaces here because I want to not not single crocheting just kind of slip stitching down back just to kind of make it a little bit stronger you don't have to do that I'm just gonna it would be just like reinforcing it going back and slip stitching like I said, that's not called for, but since most of the pressure when it hangs is going to be here, then I want to make sure it's nice and strong. But that is an extra step. You don't have to do that. It's not called for in the instructions. So once I slip stitched all the way back, it kind of just kind of like, you know, like when you do your, your sewing that you reinforce it. So now here, I'm done. I can go ahead and cut. I'm going to leave a little bit of a string so that I can um, make a nice um, area there. And now I can just weave this in. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it inside out. So this is on the inside. And then I'm just going to sew this, just the tail in there, weave them in. So now the bag, that portion is done. Now our last instructions, which is the finishing, some people don't even do it. From the right side, we're just going to single crochet evenly around all the handles and uh, we're going to weave in our ends. It doesn't matter which side you start on, you could start on this, the left or right. We're just going to do it and it just gives it a little bit more of a finish edge. And like I said, so a lot of times people don't even do it when they're doing back. So let me get my yarn ready and we'll come back and just I'll show you how I finish off that edge. So now from the right side, we're just going to single crochet evenly around the edges of the handles and we're going to weave in our ends. So you're going to have two edges because here's the handle, right? And you're going to go around one side and then the other side. And that gives it a more finished look. Some people, if you're just going to use it for the grocery store, I don't think it would really matter too much. But here, I'm going to show you how to do it um, the way that I would do it. Um, starting here where it starts going up okay just so that you could get an idea of how to um, work the areas here where there's a double crochet and then the chain three on the sides just to give you an idea usually in the double crochet um, I do one let me see if I can find one with that that one's got the chain oh this is let me see here usually I do one 
in the first space here and then one in the middle then the next one so basically I'm just working since here these are three chains it'll be easy you could just do you know one two three but here on the double crochet spot I do one in the beginning in the middle and then in the next row so let me just show you what that looks like I know it doesn't make sense so here I'm just gonna make a slip loop to get it ready to start doing my work that's kind of short so I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so that I could hide the tail okay and so then here it's going to be easy because they're all just single crochet so it, obviously it'll be really easy to get those going so let me just start here in the edge so that I could show you what I would do this is the right side of my work let me get this a little bit tighter there so it just tells you to do a single crochet so I'm gonna bring that out just there and then I'm gonna hide this tail as I'm working so I'm going to do a chain one so that I could start working my single crochet. Then it doesn't say that, but it just says to do it with single crochet. So that's what you need one stitch to go up. And I'm going to single crochet in every into the stitch. Now we're not going in between. It says to go into the stitch. So I'm going to. It doesn't say to go into the stitch. It just says single crochet. So I'm just going to do here. If you want to do it in between, like going all the way to the bottom, I guess you could. So you don't have to show that little stitch there so I'm just going here and so here I'm here in that corner where I was telling you here I use three chains to go at one two three so this will be easy because you're just gonna go into that chain one two and then the third chain will be there you're just trying to work it evenly just to finish off your edge and if you want to finish it off differently than I'm doing the spaces I'm showing, that's up to you. So then since here, this is a double crochet. And um, usually I just do one in the middle. And then in the next space here, I'll do my next, double, uh, my next single crochet. So basically here's the be beginning of the single crochet, see there? And then I'm going to go into the middle here, my second chain, and just try to work it that way. Now my next one would be here. So I'm just going up the spaces just like that. And if you want to do it a different way, that's up to you. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. If you like to work them, you know, your single crochets differently, you just but the, basically you're just trying to get them evenly. Like you don't want to have this one to have four, and then this one to only have one, and then three just evenly across. So this is what it's going to look like so versus this is a finished edge, has more of a finished edge here versus just being like this. So that side is finished verse, and you could see the difference here. I hope you could see it because uh, I just lost all the sunshine. <laughs> the a cloud just came out here. And so here is what it looks like when it's finished on the edge. And this is what it looks like without having that single crochet finished. So I recommend that you do that. So it could just look more trimmed and then you follow the pattern. So that's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish going around both openings of the handles on either side. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, everyone, I finished the bag, and let me see if you can move move it so you can see the handles. I finished sewing off all my edges, and so now you see that it looks a lot nicer, that little edge, when it's done with the edging with the single crochet. So there's the bag. It's actually pretty big, so it'll be plenty, uh, I mean, it's big enough for definitely to put... Um, food or items and your it's uh, would make a great uh, tote for your yarn or other projects so um, it's pretty big I really like the way it came out I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit that like button share the project uh, the video here with your friends and your family ask them to subscribe to my channel and that way you help me build my channel I hope you have a great day and remember always that God loves you